Hello, my name is TCBA. Uh, in this video lecture, we will learn about the differential equations of stress equilibrium, and uh, you will learn. Uh, uh, in my previous video, as you saw, that uh, I was talking about this nomenclature where I used a dash for uh, particular stress and uh, direct stress and shear stress uh, for sigma xx equals sigma xx dash tau xy tau xy dash. So we'll learn what this is basically and why it differs from uh, this uh, particular quantity. It is because uh, there is a linear variation and in this uh, video lecture we'll see and we'll capture that linear variation okay so consider a small cube having width equal to one unit this is that small cube and the width is equal to one unit let the cross-sectional area of that uh, cube be again equal to one unit so dx if dx is the width of that cube and dy is the height of that cube and then dx into dy is uh, equal to one unit area okay so this area is one unit now uh, as i told you that this sigma xx here uh, it is acting on this phase but when it travels through the body when the, this, this stress travels through, through the body it does not remain the same on the other side there is some linear variation so we need to find this sigma xx dash basically okay that is what we need to find so let us take a linear variation u is the quantity that we know and it linearly varies along a length uh, l and it becomes u dash okay same as this uh, problem right sigma xx and it linearly varies along the body of the prism and it becomes sigma xx dash so how to find this u dash if i draw a horizontal line here it will be this this much part uh, is u right this much part will be u and above that will be delta u so u dash is equal to u plus delta u so in this in this equation i already know u okay this this is already known right the only part remaining is delta u so how to find delta u if i know the angle here can i not find delta u i know the length i know the angle so tan theta is delta u upon l isn't it tan theta is equal to delta u by l so delta u is equal to tan theta into l so we'll substitute that right so u dash is equal to u plus tan theta into l now tan theta one thing that you need to remember tan theta is also called as slope now there are various ways how we represent a slope a slope of a line is basically your tan theta a slope of a line is also equal to dy by dx if the variation uh, if the upward variation is y and if the uh, horizontal variation is x then the slope this slope is dy by dx okay this is the angle theta so slope is also given as dy by dx where y is the vertical variation x is the horizontal variation so if i want to write this tan theta in terms of dy by dx here the vertical variation is in terms of u right u and horizontal variation is in terms of l so this tan theta will be equal to du by dl into l of course this l will be there so i hope you understood how we write u dash u dash is equal to u plus du by dl into l this is how we are going to represent all of them okay just a minute i'll just clear this up okay so this is how we are going to represent all of them so basically sigma xx dash will be what it is it will be equal to sigma xx plus d now what is the variation with respect to u u right so here it will be sigma xx upon dl dl now l was the length of length along which it was varying here the length along which sigma xx is varying is dx right so it is dx 
into dx okay i hope you understood this so this will be equal to sigma xx dash plus now i have taken your partial derivative because we are already considering the a very small part and uh, it is varying along one axis and it is also going to vary along the other axis that is why we take the partial derivative it is varying along one length that is x axis and it is also varying along y axis in this case when we had written this it was varying only along l l x that is only around the length it was not varying along the y axis or basically the vertical axis here we are going to take partial derivative because it is varying in both the axis and here we are representing it as varying in only one axis so we have to take a partial derivative anyways the way how to write this is this way okay so it is sigma xx plus dou sigma xx dash upon uh, dou sigma xx upon dou x into the length of that variation dx similarly we will write about all of them tau xy and tau xy dash would be tau xy dash is tau xy plus dou tau xy that is partial derivative of tau xy with respect to dou x into dx okay partial derivative of tau xy in the direction of x into dx sigma y by dash will be equal to sigma y by plus partial derivative of sigma y y in the direction of y into the length along which it is varying so this is the length along which it is varying right and this is equal to dy which is already given you so dou sigma y y along the direction of y into dy then tau y x dash will be equal to tau y x plus uh, partial derivative of tau y x in the direction of y into dy i am sorry this dash will not come this dash won't come okay fine this will be basically in dy so i hope you understood this now applying the equations of equilibrium now it is very simple you just uh, once you found out these things uh, once you found out what was sigma y y dash what was sigma x x dash now it is just application of equilibrium equations of equilibrium that is first is summation of f of x equal to 0 so this is minus sigma x x now this is a stress and we are taking summation of forces equal to 0 forces in x direction equal to 0 sigma xx is a stress right a stress has to be multiplied by an area so as to make it as a force so dy into 1 is the area as you know it has a unit width so this area will be what um, it is acting on on this plane right uh, I hope you can understand it is acting on this plane so this uh, this vertical height is dy and unit width is 1 so it is dy into 1 minus tau yx into dx into 1 minus because it is acting uh, in the uh, negative x direction so minus we will follow this sign convention okay this uh, rightwards is positive upwards is positive so negative tau y x into d x into 1 then which is the other horizontal force in this plus sigma x x plus partial derivative of sigma x x along the direction of x into d x into d y into 1 this is the area this is the stress this is the area and then again plus tau y x this this thing into d x into 1 and this will be equal to yeah this will also have something called as body force okay 
a body force is basically a, a gravitational force or a magnetic force something some force which acts on the entire body now a gravitational force acts on the entire body right it does not act only on one part of your body it does not act only on your finger or only on your nose or ears it acts on the entire body so there is also a body force in in every structure uh, it can be a gravitational force it can be other magnetic force or any other force which is a body force so in this equation we'll also consider that body force we'll not leave it or we'll not consider it to be zero okay and now this is equal to zero if we just solve this if we simplify this yeah where x is the body force in x direction so now we need to simplify this after simplification you'll get that uh, this tau minus tau y x into d x into one will get cancelled with this tau y x into d x into one, right? Then this minus sigma x x into d y into one will get cancelled with this plus sigma x x into d y into one. So you'll be left only with partial derivative of sigma x x in the direction of x into d x into d y. Of course, this d y is also multiplied. Plus partial derivative of tau y x in the direction of y into d y into d x plus x is equal to zero. So this is one equation. Okay, this is one equation. Now d x into d y. Okay, we already know that d x into d y is a unit area. the area is one unit so this term becomes one this term also becomes one since dx into dy is one okay so this is one equation that we got this we did summation f of x equal to 0 we'll do again summation of f of y equal to 0 Let's see what forces we have starting from this phase minus tau x y into d y into one because this shear stress is acting on this plane. Actually, we should just name it. You know, it will be better to uh, recognize the planes. I'm sorry, I didn't name it earlier. So tau x y is acting on plane A B, right? Then. Sigma y y again acting downward, so it is negative, and it is acting on plane B C. So minus sigma y y into d x into one. Then uh, yeah, this is acting upward, so it is positive. Plus tau x y plus the partial derivative of tau x y in the direction of x into d x, and it is acting on plane C D, which has a length of d y and a unit width of one. And then again, this uh, vertical force, sigma y y plus partial derivative of sigma y y in the direction of y into d y <coughs> into d x into one of course. And again, there will be a body force which is plus y, and this is equal to zero. So in this, what all things will get cancelled? This minus tau x y into d y, and this plus tau x y into d y. Of course, when it gets multiplied. Then this minus sigma y y into d x, and this sigma y y into d x plus sigma y y into d x. So you are left with dou tau x y upon dou x, uh, dou tau x y by dou x into d x into d y, plus dou sigma y y by dou y into d y into d x plus y is equal to zero again. This term dx into dy dy into dx is equal to one. So this is your final equation, number two. So these are the two equations that we had got. This was equation number one, right? And this was equation number two. If we have to write this uh, now, these are basically your differential equations of stress equilibrium. These equations are what we were. Wanting to get it is this derivation is very easy. 
okay you just need to understand this how we get these quantities which i explained to you right how that variation occurs in matrix form we can write these equations as now how to write in matrix form is uh, i am really sorry this is not plus this is actually multiplication okay this is multiplication okay so sigma xx tau yx sigma xx tau yx tau xy sigma yy this will be in one matrix then if you see dou by dou x dou by dou y dou by dou x dou by dou y both are common so we can multiply this now how this multiplication will work sigma xx into dou by dou x first term plus tau yx into uh, like dou by dou y into tau yx the second term okay this x and y we have written here that i'll explain to you if you bring bring this x and y on the left hand side it will be plus x y equal to 0 right so here again uh, the second equation will be tau x y so dou by dou x of tau x y the first term we got and dou by dou y of sigma y y the second term we got plus y is equal to 0 so this is how you write in the matrix form but these are your main differential equations of stress equilibrium all right for a, a three dimensional structure the differential equation will be like this again this will be a multiplication and not addition okay i'm sorry for that mistake so this is the differential equation for stress equilibrium in three dimensional element matrix now uh, i hope you understood this lecture and if you found it to be useful please share it with your friends and subscribe this channel if you have not yet subscribed and i'll be posting more videos soon thank you for watching bye bye